Hey everyone, I'm fucking pissed at myself, but during this next cutscene, I didn't have my mic on, and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through with you my reactions as this progressed, starting from here. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. So right here, I was trying to piece together what, say, uh, myself and, like, Morgana was talking about with, like, these baits, these, like, flashbacks. I was trying to remember, trying, well, quote, in the game, I'm trying to remember, but I was trying to figure out what exactly is happening in the story, and I was making comments, uh... There's, there's something that's been recently such as removed from my post as head of this a short while later like who is now the uh, head of the investigation family. now uh, all, what you were is possibly you out. that's true who I'm sold me been. out which I was definitely thinking of a catchy were true in the end. still to think his true intention was to sell us out. And right here is where it confirms it to me that Akechi was was the one that sold me out. That'd be impossible. A cat giving someone a smartphone is completely unnatural. Oh yeah, I was trying to convince Morgana to do it, but I didn't. I I cause I couldn't do it. But right here, I just couldn't figure it out. What was going on? And I was like, hmm, I might remember. What do you recall? If you know something, you must tell me. Do you mean this phone? It's yours, isn't it? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time. What's so important? Are you going to unlock it and show? Let's okay. Let's so I was right here. I was like, okay. What's the whole big deal with the, the phone, right? What's what's up with the, the phone? Like I'm trying to connect, make connections, trying to figure out, and also trying to figure out what they meant by show him it. I it didn't make any sense. Like told it, like what it was. I figured out who him was. It was Akechi, obviously. But and what about this smartphone? So right here, I was like, show it to the... The true culprit? True culprit, because they must be the same. Because... Right here, I was like, I don't remember saying, hearing Akechi say this at all. This is very, very alarming to me. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed... And I said, probably I already told you. So I already told you. What do you? <gasps> My God, you're referring to him, aren't you? I was like, I think so. I think we're on the same page. You think? What are you plotting? To be honest, I I was right there. I was like, I have no idea what I'm plotting. I'm just answering questions, and just hoping for the best. <laughs> And that honest look in your eyes. I'll place my. I just need to show him the phone. Yes, yes, you did. Was my exact word. And right here. I am thou. I was like, oh, cool. I maxed out Say's confidant. How lovely. Um. And then I proceeded to make a joke about uh, Judgment's final fusion persona being Satan himself. Right. I know it's a little bit early, but uh, right. right here, yeah. You can now fuse Satan, but uh, I made a joke about that, about making I'll Satan go. himself appear as your persona, and then I'll just let the cutscene play, so. Do, a catchy gun? Why are you- Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. Okay, I right here. The investigation team, after all. I thought Akechi so was actually the lead of the, the right investigation. Well, now, because 
say lost her lead as of the investigation team, and I thought it was had handed down to Akechi, and then he said it was a joke. There are nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thief? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. After all, if you wish to trick your enemy. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need you to be clear. <gasps> My god. You're referring. Okay, right here is where I started putting it together. Um, I was like, okay, say shows Akechi my smartphone. What what significance will that have? And then I saw the purple flash. I was like, what the fuck was that? What just happened? Not personally. I was true. This is undoubted good luck in there. And. I was just waiting for a catchy, and this happens. I was like, okay, hold on, wait a minute, that's not normal, red flag's going up, what the fuck, game, don't do this shit. May I ask that you going in unarmed to interrogate- Right here, I was like, okay, that's understandable, have a nice day. <gasps> and right here- what are you I thought Akechi was saving me. Akechi shoots the guard. He shoots the guard in front of me, I and I thought he was this. saving me. And I paused, and I was freaking out. I was like, okay, is Akechi on my side or is he not? I can't fucking tell. I literally cannot fucking tell wh whose side Akechi is on. Is he on the bad guy's side or is he on my side? Because he just shot the guard in front of me. And I was like, malt. I was freaking out, cause I was wondering why would Akechi save me? I I didn't know. So many thoughts were, were rocketing in my That's head, right. and I am positive right here. And, your little friends were vital to our plan. and I was like, who's our? Be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. And I was watching this and I saw this cutscene start showing up and I'm like oh okay cutscene cool what's gonna happen next hmm. have you finally pieced it all together and right here I was like oh my god Akechi are you actually gonna shoot me are you actually going to shoot me case closed this is how your justice ends I'm like, no way, no way. What? That's my exact reaction. Exact word for word. Exact, like, everything. I was flipping. I was freaking out, dude. No way that I just got the bad ending was my first thought. No way I got the bad ending. I did everything right. I got all the confidants required. I did... I didn't fail any of the palaces or due dates. So why did this happen? What did I do wrong? Was my first initial thought while I was watching this cutscene. And I was just thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> Akechi's just gonna get away with this scot-free. Are you shitting me? What the fuck? That's so fucked. This is so fucked. I was so upset. Shido -san. And I heard Shido, and I was like, oh my god, I was right. Shido is the bad guy. And then I just watched the rest of this cutscene right here. These teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out. It would be best to have each of them meet with. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. I will keep my eye on them. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. 
Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to... More importantly, they should be... Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I must be prepared to deal beyond that. What of the... Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime. When I heard the SIU director being mentioned, I was like, Oh, they're gonna fucking kill him too. And I was right. They fucking killed him. I was like, I was so right. And I was like, I feel like I understand where this game is now going. And then I watched this cutscene, where Futaba talks to say, and I and I was like, oh, Futaba and Say actually get to meet each other. That's pretty cool. It doesn't matter because I'm dead and Say's gonna walk into my corpse. But that's what I was talking about throughout this entire cutscene. It's like this will not matter. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Like, I was literally watching this scene play out, and I was like, I'm fucking dead. There is no way that I'm living. And then that purple flash again, I was like, what the fuck? What's with the purple flashes? What the hell is that? I was so annoyed. What is it? Did anyone else stop by? And then I watched this cutscene, so... <sighs> Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else. Yes, the guard... So it's all true. Of course it's true. It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you... You know, if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any- I suggest you- Yes- And don't say a word of what transpired. Okay. Right here. I accidentally paused there, by the way. I was thinking, okay, there's no way that this was canon, no way that that was canon, that was not a bad ending, there was nothing happened, I'm still a-okay, right? They, like, there's no way Atlas would just kill me off like that. And I was like, okay, this is probably just the rest of the Phantom Thieves' reaction to me getting captured and, like, being broadcasted on the news. And then uh, I just kind of watched this cutscene very, very normally and all that and I was watching Ryuji's and I remember specifically thinking oh this is like it's like going back to the track shop and like and this woman recognizing Ryuji was really really wholesome to me and I was thinking oh it's because of Kamoshida that he just stopped visiting there and that was actually really sad and that he's not doing track and field anymore because of Kamashita. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him, I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seem stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Normal, right? He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. <laughs> Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. <laughs> Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. I heard the word attempted murder and I was thinking, that is so extreme, like, I wasn't at fault, I just got taken the fall for something that didn't happen to me. And Makoto, I was like, okay. 
that one phantom thief should have followed your example. And I was like, oh, don't, don't do that. Come on, man. That's just mean. Some high schooler. I wonder why you turned to a life of crime. That was just rude. And right here, I was, I was at Harrow's, and I was like, oh, Haru, okay. Who's, who's driving and who she's with? I was, like, concerned about her. And then I saw... And I saw her fucking fiancé. I was like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. Are you shitting me right now? That's annoyed. That's annoying. Like, you fucking creep. And I was like, that's fuck. You fuck off. To that comment. And I was like, the, the suicide was re the, the, the that shit was real. Are you fucking kidding me? That's canon. Who am I playing as now? And I saw all the like everyone like reaction. Makoto's was like the most realistic one, I feel like, and I was like, holy shit, I'm actually fucking dead. I was waiting for Ryuji to like punch out a TV screen when I saw this. I was like, oh my god, Ryuji. Oh my god. And then I see him smile. I'm like, we got him. Wait, hold on. I'm not dead. And then I see Igor's cutscene, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm alive. Yo, pretty excellent. It would seem as though you have... But why were you killed? Why did you... And I was like trying to figure out what happened. It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hit. And... Indeed, your death was a I, and I see death in quotation marks. I was like, wait, so I'm actually alive. So this was actually a plan that we planned out to get Akechi to say who the true villain is and reveal himself to be the perpetrator so right here I was trying to figure out what the hell I was trying to piece together the uh, the 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 cutscenes that were playing that Igor was showing me my memories and right here I was like okay I remember this cutscene but I don't remember he hearing Morgana saying you realized it too be because that scene cut out for me. It was a conversation about pancakes, right? And, uh, no and it was about, and it was our conversation about pancakes. I had no idea what the fuck Morgana was talking about. But I said we can't trip. trust him. We met him in the hall. And I hear I, no and it's another reference the to the high school place. trip into school the TV station. And I had no idea what to say. Okay. Besides that. <sighs> and this is the conversation with Futaba and me asking One more person has been on our mind. Futaba to do something, and I couldn't remember figure it out who it was. Hmm, that'll be tough. I was like, we probably really need right. it. It's a necessity. Hmm, I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible. I didn't say it was impossible. That is true. She never did. Mm. And I put auto on because okay. I was like, I okay, I'm play. fucking sick of hitting the X button. And I hit auto again because I'm stupid. I was like, oh, come on, tell me. Let me know. Don't worry. And then they whispered it into my ear, but without telling me what it was. I'm like, oh my goodness. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> While listening to the Velvet Room theme, by the way, which is very excellent. I saw the interrogation, and I'm like, okay, something's up. So we're going to use this place. And I also noticed. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. That you guys that they were not in their like super crazy outfits like it the uh, finally like their infiltration outfits this game is not there are still things and i was so relieved done. that the game wasn't over yet because i thought i genuinely died
Okay, right here is where I realized that this was in the metaverse. Right here is where Akechi basically capped me inside of the metaverse, and it, he thought that he actually killed me. And I thought that was crazy. That was so smart. But, uh, obviously I saved because I wanted to see where this was going on top of, like, where the fuck is it going? Uh, and I also wanted to hear the explanation because obviously that's going to happen. Uh... A couple things to point out while this was happening. I didn't know what was going, what exactly tipped us off. So I heard the word pancake conversation, and I know that it was about. Now I know, obviously, because I've played this section of the game. But uh, I know it was about like the pancake house that Morgana was talking about, and that I catch you overheard it. However, I didn't put that together at the time when I was playing it at that point. And right here is where they explain everything, so I'm going to let them explain everything and I'll butt in. Are you listening? Uh, when I need to, and explain myself hey, even further. We need to talk about how to get out of this situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a ploy to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill him. If we go into Sis's palace as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So, this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura, then once we triggered the And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time! The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac! Come on, we gotta take that bastard to catch you down! Isn't that recording we got enough? No. Akechi is merely a tool. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect inside of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. Okay, a catchy say it, force a catchy to say it is. I was thinking that's gonna be really hard to do because a catchy doesn't really break that easy and like he doesn't break under pressure that easy. And I was thinking, how the hell am I gonna make him talk? So. We don't got a choice but to go with that bastard's suggestion. Through this cutscene, I was thinking. Palace, like we're told, he'll get arrested. Palace. I was thinking, what's Actually, Futaba up to? Something I'd like to say regarding... And I forgot to put on auto, so... We can use the palace to our advantage! What's this all of a sudden? There's a way. A way to get past Akechi and get the Mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity! Really? Yes. And okay. that was this plan that Futaba he has. to kill the guy, why not let him? That is, inside of a palace. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive version, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it! It seems that's our only option. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. 
ever since the death of their teenage leader. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the... I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few... Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. You're her sister, correct? Okay, right here is really where I started putting it together. Of uh, like, okay, cool, I didn't fuck it up. And this right here is a lovely scene where we all meet. Like, we all get meet up again. Hey, you big bastard! And I was super excited to see Yuji and Yusuke and all of them. And I said, I mean, I died because I thought it was funny. <laughs> you must be fine if you're joking around like that. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's that's totally Trevor fair. It's a relief to see your face. It is relieving I to exist. Catchy, don't even know we tricked him yet. Oh, of course. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? Oh yeah. You weren't told anything? I heard my sister brought him here though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. Okay, so right here I feel I really bad for Sujiro because all of this doesn't make any hey, sense to him. He pieces it together really in his own weird way, but it he just the leader of the can't Gates really understand dead. what it is. And this is also where Sei and Sojiro oh, figure out Morgana it can actually talk as well. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, right here. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. Yeah. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Yeah. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Yeah, Akechi made a big mistake, and that was a slip of the, the tongue. That Akechi was the real culprit. That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Mm -hmm. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? No. True. She wouldn't Akechi have. She was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. But basically, this scene is where they explain this huge, big brain plan to save myself, to save me, and I'm probably just gonna let this cutscene just play out, and just wa let you guys watch it if you want. What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. Oh yeah, this is where Sojo is confused. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, <laughs> sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Yeah, no, so Joe is oh, completely clueless. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he, he said, said something, something just, just now? now yeah. as well? But you don't understand him, do you? So right here I was thinking, why don't I just take him too? to the meta Sojo and say to the metaverse? Talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition. Most, most likely. likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. And that's coming from Anne. Anne is horrible as a, as an actor. When we talk to Akechi at the school festival, and then this is where the big brain plan starts out. So I'm just gonna shut up and let this cutscene play. So enjoy. Earlier. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. Oh, am I mistaken? I and this is where I put two and two pancakes. together finally. I didn't put two and two together until this scene, like, it played for me in this specific spot. Sorry for butting in, and it was so soon. Mona I didn't realize it was so soon. But however, pancake. this is where I put together where Gorokechi frick, like, Akechi fucked up. Been in the by then. To, like, with his slip of the tongue. Which means what we usually just said, so... Alright, I'll shut up now. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. Mm. 
That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the fan. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the... And thus, the dangerous criminal... When he does, you will become... I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone... He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah, it's good we have her heading up our operations. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi, but I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark.
everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to... Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Why is that? Without Sis on our side. Kutaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? Understandable. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater... As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake, but what did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futaba-chan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as Akechi planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence, and even drugs, is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness, and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. I'm 
truly glad you made it back safe. Don't. You shouldn't have to remember such things. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against... Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, Cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together and talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. <laughs> That sounds familiar. It's me, Akashi. Enter. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No, nothing in particular. More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves' interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> and on to our next story. The SNAP discussion is swirling around potential nominees, as the deadline for candidate candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together! We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him! Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. He said, Shido-san. Shido? If you... He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? I believe he's a politician. Okay, right here. Remember I thought you said his speech I didn't know that we knew about him. I, I, I just know that me, Ryuji, that ran Shido into him the in the cafe, and that was it. Huh? And right here, this Do is you where some kind of evidence? Nothing material. I say it explains like what happens that possibility. if Shido would win, quote-unquote. from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and mm -hmm. has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. So therefore, he has the most to gain. No. Well, did he set us up with that election in mind? Oh, a hundred percent. 
There's no way that he didn't. Behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. Mm -hmm. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. Yeah. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Yeah, and this is how it is. Uh... Shido, huh? What is the matter? And this is where Sergio explains the background. Just based on the connections I had from my previous job. Which was this was a really nice uh Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Mm hmm Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Mm -hmm. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. And that's boss was one of those parties. And that's where I was saying it. I would never boss. have imagined yeah, all I was, of this was connected. And that makes all the, the sense. But it, I was making a joke about how the strings Shido. are all connected. It's always how the strings are connected. Kept strings are always connected Tom like that. Nobody believed him though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes prime minister? What about the world? It will not be good. The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. That that is true. We gotta expose that rotten bastard. Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. And I was thinking, how the hell are we going to take out Shido and also Shido. deal with the catchy at the, the guy same? Guy running for prime minister. Got a hit. Well, duh. Ain't a surprise he has one. Yeah. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? So right here, this I is where I thought. Dirty money and shady actions. Wait. What, is he doing? what about the cafe? The, the, the buffet that we went to for life. our first celebration. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. So I thought a fancy restaurant. I suppose that would be a good location for them to plot. Mm -hmm. How about the diet building? We got a hit. How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the diet building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Oh, I mean, we have to. But I asked, what about Ketchy? Because no need to waste time with him. We just gotta hit the head. Nobody against it? Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. I agree. Time for revenge. Mm -hmm. And it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. Yes. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. Poor Sir Joe. We'll <laughs> deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. Mm -hmm. It's best we hurry it's... before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. I think that would be a good idea. What are you going to do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Ms. Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. Yeah, that's what Sojiro told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, alright? This whole thing would be for nothing. Mm hmm. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose, outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. Which means... He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. Agreed. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. And I thought that was gonna that would be Everyone's perfect. Flip. Because you guys thought through all this stuff too? Dramatic flair. You know. That's Except why for you, Yuji. Such a daring That's what I trick said. Is getting captured and appearing to be killed. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what frightening teenagers! Thank you. A true battle. 
has only just begun. Yeah, we only run round one, one so we have to be careful about the whole war. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill, and kill us. us. Mm -hmm. There is no end to their inhuman conniving nature. There isn't. So we must eliminate them. Need to be prepared for whatever no, we'll not eliminate them, but like change them. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half and then years since we met. Villain. Back then, explains how he met Ketchy. As a young politician so, rise up yeah, against very boring stuff, I would say. Those who this is preemptively deal with problems me just to skipping this. Just wait for you, me to, to add more commentary to it, I suppose. Schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The general public has forsaken such... political affairs and don't even bother I must agree there's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools I will lead this country to its revival those who get in the way must be eliminated at times that's still it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals which is why I made them suspects Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. However, inauguration isn't my goal. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some say that is my duty. Uh, your assistance has been very influential in making my plans pr when I become prime minister. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. 
Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. And right here is the end of the recording, so... Yeah. Uh, right here is why I just decided to cut the footage and just save it just so I didn't lose anything and then save it. So, yeah. Sorry that I sound tired or, like, stuffy. And I was that because, um, I'm sick of my streams crashing, so, and I just need to punch this out. But thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye-bye.